Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are back in We Happy Viewers. Ollie! We are currently trying to infiltrate the military base to find out if the general knew that the tanks were made of paper mache. Ah, fond memories. Careful, I don't think they like you very much here. No, no, no one likes us very much. No one likes Ollie for some reason. Right, we're heading that way. So. Damn it. Hmm, it's gonna be tricky. Okay. Hmm? Who's Attention on guard duty? Ah. The movie tonight will be bulldog season it through. Ah. This brilliant mystery story um, uh. stars Jack Buchanan and uh. Greta Gint with Ronald China as pub. Ah. Oh, oh! Back! I think it's volley. Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. <laughs> I think it's, I need to keep topping up his blood sugar, which is annoying. Um, oh, I can't go that way, so I must have to go this way. Just gonna take everything, take everything, just take it all. We need to look for some syringes and honey if we can find it. Oh, very lovely. Lovely. Right. God, it's proper mauled everything off. Canteen. There's no one in here, which is good. Oh, no. Attention all personnel. Please remember to boil all water this week. There have been... Donald! Oh. Holly, <laughs> what possessed you to come here? Here, I can smuggle you out of trouble. Just get him a car. I have to take the lads at the bridge their supper. I'm afraid I'm on my way in, not out. But I might take you up on your offer later. I suppose the lads will just have to wait a wee longer for their supper then. Let's we'll remember. Wait, let's we'll remember this. Because I'm guessing we need to get out with him. So. Ooh. I'll see you. I'll see you. Keep walking. Keep walking. Did you hit? There we go. Oh, there's a dude right there. Um. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, no. How am I going to get. There's a searchlight as well. It's not good. It's not good at all. Oh god. Um Attention all personnel. If you find any plain mushrooms inside the camp, please notify Corporal Ramsbottom so they can be eradicated safely. Oh, oh god, he's right there. Jerry's in the house! Oh, Let's him out! Hello. Where the hell's Cheeseman? Probably having a wank in the bushes. <laughs> Sorry. He's probably in the latrine. Or that. He's not going to let you in. You'll need his key. I can be quite charming when it suits me. I doubt it, Ollie. I bet he's still angry with you. It's been six years. Is he still deaf in one ear? Alright, um... Uh... Alright, the alarm should stop at some point, at least. Oh, crap. My blood sugar is horrifically low and I don't have anything. Um, do we have any... Oh, honey. I need to inject it. I need some syringes. That's not good. Um, let's have an apple. Oh, that helped. That's good. Right. Whoever said we passed this way but once? 
All right, sneaky, sneaky. So let's sneak this business. There's the latrine. Do we knock him out? <laughs> Take it out. <laughs> Pee on your if own I've time, son. Right, you'll wake up in a bit. Key. We're going in. Oh, hello. There we go. The tanks were fake. The German tanks in the camp. Paper mashy. Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll, I'll take one tone I like. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes. I don't need a bloody ghost of Christmas past. Before the train, <laughs> tell him. In 1946, before they took the children. I know when they took the children, Ollie. Oh. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? <laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war, you can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. No. Yeah. Why... Didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. You typed all my correspondence. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed quite a lot. Huh. You knew? There's holes in my memory. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. They have to know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Yeah, well, yeah. Isn't that the decision we all made? Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in yeah. City Hall. Why don't you drop by for a chat? I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman from the Garden District. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> They'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. I think you should visit Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. What? Oh, oh Margaret. I'm sorry. Margaret? No. My hallucinations left me. Oh, there well, an apology makes it all better. Doesn't it? I'll ask Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. Um. Run! Just run! You better get out of here. I'm on it. Oh. The cook, obviously. Right, right, right. Right, right. Just run. I don't care. We're going. Uh, which way was it? Um, that way. <sighs> du, 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 du. Oh, come on, Ollie. You can run faster than that. All right. Donald, ready to go? I might have overstayed my welcome a bit, eh? Hop in. Do you I remember do. my meat pounder? What? <laughs> that I lent you two years ago. And you lost it smashing some televisions. That's quite an obsession of yours, isn't it? I can't stand Uncle Jack's stupid face. Damn collaborator. Traitor. No. You bought half a bottle of whiskey in recompense, but whiskey's, let us say, two bob. Five, quiet. You want them to hear you. You're the one talking, Ollie. Plus half of two <laughs> makes only three. Seems to me you owe me at least three and a half bottles of whiskey to even up accounts. Fresh socks. That is answer to everything. Open up. Bloody fresh socks. to feed socks. the lads on the bridge. You're not hiding all these starky in that cart, are ya? I didn't think it fit. <laughs> not unless I cut him apart the joints and boiled him a bit. <laughs> Just move along, if you don't mind. I was wondering what that was in the sky. Hey, we no robbery! I make it a total of eight and a half bottles of whiskey. You or me. Mm. Fine, I'll get them for you next week. 
I'm so glad we had this wee chat. Crap. All off. Cart's broken down. What? They don't engineer like they do up in Scotland. I'm gonna have to go back for parts. Do not steal the bridge boys' dinner, or I shall be cross with you. I'd never do that to you. I'd do it to the bridge boys, but not to you. Don't make me regret helping you, Ollie. Not again. And come back next week with my eight and a half bottles. How about no? Right, um... Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. You've got few enough friends as it is. Oh, I knew about the tanks. Everybody's got to know. They've got to know. If the general will help, I'll go to Waterloo House and talk to Miss Bing. People listen to her. See, in Sally's story, I don't talk to Ollie. This is all very confusing. Uh huh. Stop cracking your damn knuckles. Where am I? Why am I up here? Ah. Oh, ow! I've fallen. Not sad. Nice Right. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> right, must be here for a reason. Why are we going up this ladder? Can't get out. What's the point? Why are we up here? The voice thinks we entertain girls. Why I don't know, I should have just fallen. Right, anyway. Alright, how do I get past? Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna have to knock him out. I'm gonna have to knock him out. But there's a guy right there looking this way. There's a few people. Um, um, no. Oh, do I just run? Should I just run? I'm just gonna run. Let's go. I wouldn't say that around the side. Oh, that was a lot of stress for no reason. Right, let's go. <laughs> we need honey and syringes, which isn't good because my blood sugar level is horrifically low. I'm going to see if there's anything up. Pure water, onion, jerky, tea? Tea might help. It does not. All right, I'm going to gather some of these because healing, healing stuff. I think it's the blue ones I need. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll come back to you once I reach your destination and I'm not dead. This, who's that fella? What have I done, Rich? I didn't think you'd hear me. You're all weak. Oh, run. <laughs> Get out of it. Stop following me. Run, 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 run. Anyway, I'll come back to you. Right, so what's going on here? Um... I can never quite bring myself to hate these poor sick bastards. Because they're still Aye. Right. Ah. Ah. No. We all get what's coming to us in the end. Someone there. Now, try to behave whilst you're in the village, okay? Screw this. Tap my fat box, weasel headed gobshite. You never liked me, did you? Right, how. One is curfew. Two. There's bobbies everywhere. This is not going to go well. Not going to go well at all. <laughs> oh dear. Did I run past the shelter? We're going back. <laughs> we can't go back. Oh no. Um. This is where they hanged Mr. Cranmer, isn't it? 
and Mr. and Mrs. Lashford. Aye, Tommy and the Lashfords. You see those bits of rope? Why didn't the Germans just arrest them? I think we thought they'd be happier if they didn't have to. And dead men tell no tales. Did you help? Nay, but I didn't hinder neither. Does that mean you're just as guilty? You're full of questions today, aren't you? Well, it is you, so it is you asking these questions. Right, let's go back to that shelter. A few moments later. Right, so the issue I've got here is no one likes me. Am I going to get attacked straight away? Just... You shut me up, you How are you meant to do this? <sighs> Six and a half hours later. Right, so I've made it. <laughs> Took forever. I just need the bobbies to disappear. And I can go in, so... There we go. Oh, Christ. Ollie. Hello. I didn't ask you here, did I? If you take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're... Paint in the streets in fucking rainbows. She looks. Horrible. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile, and when you smile, you can't help being happy. I don't know. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh. Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Not a, no. Isn't that the decision we all made? Yeah, apparently. Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know, is there? No. It's better not to know. You, of all people, should understand that. Oh, what did Ollie do? I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Help! There's a donor in my... Ah! 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 Is this some sort of silly prank? When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Turns out, well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? Oh, no, I can't. Please, Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. They teach you to be cruel. Yeah. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them, and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No! You oh. can't, please. I, I'll take you. To the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything. Just please give me my joy. No, no. I need my joy. Why won't you give me my joy? Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time. I'm just gonna steal all your stuff, by the way. <laughs> right. Apparently there's something in this house that'll help me fit in, so I need to find it. <laughs> no. Why are there metal bits in the bathroom? Weird. Right. Alright, I'm gonna search upstairs first. Spike, nice. Leave my things alone, you pervert! No, I need your things. Oh, 
Why is there another bone fruit? Here we go. She certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? You're not going to give it to her. Right, we need to still find things. It must be here somewhere. Oh, there's another room here. What's this? Nope. Come on, what else you got in this house? I'm gonna steal everything you own. I need to eat something. Just have that. Just have some jerky. Will that help me fit in? Let's put it on. Got it. Hide. Okay. Um, one more room to check. Ooh, I don't think she likes him very much. All right, we've got your joy. Let's check that last room down here. K kitchen, yeah, it's kitchen. Take that, take that, take that, take pie. Marvelous, right. Just check in here quick. Oh, there's another room. That's a kitchen, all right. I don't think there's anything else to be had. This is what you were looking for, wasn't it? Wait. I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil downer bastard! I am gonna kill you! I am going Easy, to Targa. kill you! Sorry. I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. Mm -hmm. I've got to answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. Check the blower. Where's the blower? Uh... She's got her own pneumatic. I better answer it. Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going to need an answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. I've got it though, haven't I? Letter, a letter, a letter. Oh, it's upstairs. Aha. Uh -huh. Tap, 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 tap. Well typed, Oi. You're okay, Mr. Birthwhistle. You can have as big an office as you like. Mm, that doesn't sound like Miss... Don't care. That's what he's getting. Off you go. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> it's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank. And you can untie me now. No. Please. No. This thing is a big of white. Uh, I'm sorry, but I shall have to enter the premises. Who's that? Why don't you go find out? If you're going to talk to that Bobby, you can't do it looking like Ollie Starkey. Who the hell am I supposed to look like then? King Edward? Maybe there's a maid's uniform in the house somewhere. I'm wearing it. Oh, it's not. Hello. Come in, constable. <laughs> Everything's perfectly all right. <laughs> we'll just see about that. Uh, take it down. Take it down. Oh. <laughs> Chuck. Well, that's my regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised? Milk, a bit of sugar, makes everything. So, she's got coffee while the rest of us are drinking toasted chicory. 
You better answer it. What do I see? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. <laughs> Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away! Okay. <laughs> Hello, it's Beatrice Dalrymple. <laughs> From the executive committee? Hello. I'm so sorry. Something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. I, is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit chat. We're trying to save the world. All right. Tomorrow then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie, so they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye, I remember. Mm. I'll accept my daughter. Your daughter? Aye, Margaret. Because she was dead. You've got to eat. Oh, I'm gonna throw it right back up. What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> coffee yogurt. Oh, coffee I'll yogurt. Bring some. Give me my joy. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yogurt. <laughs> All right, coffee yogurt. What is yogurt exactly? It's fermented milk, like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. Craft coffee yogurt. Well, I should have that stuff. Coffee yogurt. Ugh. Well, that's coffee yogurt a la Starkey. I hope she's not particular. Everything is quite all right. Sleepy tight, nighty night. Everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I think you'd better give her that yogurt. Yep. This is awful. You've ruined it. Oh, Father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> God's oh, sake. That will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely colour combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realise she was quite <laughs> this popular. Hmm. This is tedious. So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being <laughs> out. <laughs> You're an idiot, Ollie. I'll leave it with you, then. Would you, uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, should I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so. This has all got a bit strange. <laughs> and it was strange to begin with, to be honest.
I don't have any healing stuff. So it's wrapped something around my face. Hmm. Oh well. Here's the counting of all the gardening supplies. She could pay me next week. Cheerio. I'll see that she gets it. Cheerio. There are acts of heroism you never get a medal for, and they're some of the bravest. <laughs> Stop being so dramatic. I think you'd better let her out. No, you may not just leave her in there for a bit. I didn't say a word. It's going to. <laughs> well, that's a good look for you. Suits you. You might want to shave a bit. So is this General Bing's daughter, or what? I, I didn't catch it. What is... this is very long, this section. Christ almighty, can't these people think for themselves? You must let me answer my messages! They won't know what to do on their own! Ugh, <sighs> blow her again. I promise I won't put in any secret cries for help. I just need to answer. Who the hell is Prudence Holmes? You really ought to get out Prue. more, Ollie. Prue? Isn't that the one Arthur was? We found it dead, dead in a Bloody tunnel. Draws us. <clears throat> I've never even heard of Prudence Holmes. Just Why don't you ask right someone direction. else? You really ought to think things through. I did think it through. Bloody rather. Off you go. I was your friend. The only one who was nice to you. Why would you do this to me? Trying to help you, love. Oh, for love of God. Uh, I'm sorry, but I shall have to enter the premises. Who's that? Why don't you go find out? I've already... Come in, Constable. Everything's perfectly all right. We'll just see about that. It... Does he not spot the other dude on the floor? Have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Who ever told you that? Last time I managed to dig some out of the rubble, a house collapsed on me. <laughs> I nearly died. <laughs> Give well. me some joy! I need my joy! You'll feel better soon. Ish, I think. Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? It's Constable Naysmith. You're busier than a one-legged man at an arse-kicking contest, aren't you? You won't fool the bobbies. They'll expect their sandwiches. You think he's getting upset? Ollie, you better talk to him. Oh, God's sake, why? Oh, sorry, Constable. Miss Bing is not here. Well, if you don't mind, Mom, I'll make my own determination as to her localization. No! Come right in! Miss Bing? You around? You better get Miss Bing back ah. to the closet. <laughs> Look, I'm fed up of knocking you guys out. Really? Uh, um, oh, right, let's get her back to the closet. The children could stop screaming. You have to talk to them. Then they settle down for a bit. Are you mad? <laughs> Aye. We could have saved them, you know. The tanks were made of papier mache. Little Artie Hastings tore a hole in one of them. What could that possibly matter now? I suppose it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Except that's just the first lie. Then comes the victory that wasn't, and then the happy pills, and the Simon Says, because the kids are all gone. 
You can paint loaves of bread on the shop windows all you like, but if people don't wake up, we're all going to starve to death. Mm. Please, give me my joy. Oh, I need you here with me, ma'am. Not off in Neverland with Wendy and Peter. <sighs> all right. The tanks were paper mache. The children didn't have to get on the train. Poor Margaret Worthing didn't have to die. Nay, eh, she didn't. We go to City Hall, back entrance. There's a private elevator. The code is 0126. The date of the victory. I'll write you a letter of transit. It won't be enough. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. That's what we have to do, Ollie. She changed the tune. That, they'll murder each other in the street. Then why would you help me? There hasn't been a baby born in Wellington Wells in 17 years. Oh, uh, yes, there has. We don't talk about that. I'd forgotten that. Let's go see the executive committee. Oh, oh. come on, you should have should have known. People have to know. In an hour, you horrible little man. I won't even know you exist. Oh, come on. Uh, Ollie. You have to find the letters of transit. I can't stay here. Victoria's probably run to the police already. Then hurry! Find them! Oh, 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 Where was the entrance to the... Uh -huh. oh. This isn't right. What? <laughs> oh, at least they stopped looking for me. What? I don't understand what it's telling me here. What is it telling me? Have I broken it? Where's the letter of transit? Ah, aha! Aha! <laughs> Job done. Right. Ah. <sighs> I think we'll leave the escape till next time. That went on a lot longer. I didn't expect that conversation with Miss Bing to last so long. Shut this lock. Shut this. There we go. Uh, so, um, F1 will end up killing themselves if they don't take their joy. Or well, killing each other, as it might be. Do we really want to do that? Do we want to start that as Ollie? Possibly. Who knows? Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. If you are enjoying We Happy Few, I understand that it is a bit disjointed. There's a lot of grinding in this game that I have to do between scenes. Um, getting here was a struggle, but no, now that I've got the maid's outfit, I should be able to travel around without problem. Apparently it's normal. Who knows? Uh, but if you have enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below and a subscribe if you feel that way inclined. But other than that, we will return to Wellington Wells at another time, but I will see you in the next video.